Hey there and welcome to our channel. This video serves as a continuation from our part 2 sugar bombs video which we released on May 2021. As usual, if you do not find spawns of sugar bombs, just do a server hop. It is advised to do this sugar bomb run in public worlds, and not in private worlds. In this video, we are going to show you 9 locations which you can find 18 sugar bombs. We hope you enjoy the tour and feel free to share your comments below. As the map is really extremely huge, we will be splitting the map into 4 quadrants and we will do it in sequential order so that you can save caps during your fast travel. For quadrant 1, there are two locations which is a 100% chance of spawning a sugar bomb. The locations are Vault 51 and at the Gorge Junkyard. Outside of Vault 51, you will find a sugar bomb in one of the shelves. This place does not have much traffic. Hence you are likely to find the sugar bomb here. Next, is to head down to the workshop called the Gorge Junkyard from the spawn point. Run into the workshop until you see a lovely house, and inside, you will find a sugar bomb on the stove. For Quadrant 2, there are two locations with a 100% chance of spawning sugar bombs. The locations are the Hornwright Summer Villa and at the Pleasant Hill Cemetery. When you arrive at the Hornwright Summer Villa, Run past the huge mansion till you see a house with an open garage. Walk round the house till you see a flight of stairs. Up the flight of stairs, you will see a metal cabinet which will have two sugar bombs hiding behind it. Next, is to head to the Pleasant Hill Cemetery from the spawn point. Run down to the crypt which is a gate. Through this gate, you will find a sugar bomb laying on the floor for your looting. Be careful of wild dogs. For Quadrant 3, there are two locations with a 100% chance of spawning sugar bombs. They are at Lake Eloise and at Fort Defiance. From the spawn point of Lake Eloise, Walk straight till you see a drawbridge. Cross it and you will find an abandoned campsite. Look around on the floor, and you will find a sugar bomb. On to Fort Defiance, which is probably the next best place to find sugar bombs apart from Moss Town and Flatwoods. From the spawn point, turn right and run to the end. Once you reach the end, Jump to the second story. Follow the path, till you see some white curtains on the left. Go into the room, and you will find a sugar bomb. After that, run back to the start, and turn left this time. Once you are back at the start, you will see this notice board on the right. Do a high jump to the second story, to get your second sugar bomb. After taking the second sugar bomb, jump down again, and follow the path to the dead end. Once you see the dead end, turn right, and you will see a hole in the wall which you can jump through. After jumping through the wall, look left and there will be another sugar bomb slotted inside one of the drawers. After that, follow the path to the dead end where you will see a path that leads you to the upper floors. Go all the way up to the highest floor by using the stairs. Once you're there, look left at the wall with loads of debris, and you will find a sugar bomb stuck in a wall next to a teddy bear. How cute! After that, follow the path till you see a white fridge. Turn right into the kitchen to pick up your last sugar bomb. For Quadrant 4, there are four locations with a 100% chance of spawning sugar bombs. The locations are at Morgantown High School, Fraternity Row, Super Duper Mart and at Tanagra Town. First stop is at Morgantown High School. From the spawn point, run west till you see a red rocket station. You will find a sugar bomb placed on one of the shelves. 
Next is to fast travel to Fraternity Row from the spawn point. Walk up the slope till you see a house with a cyan door. This is the ETA PSI house. Once inside, head up to the second floor where you will find a sugar bomb in the kitchen. Sometimes, you may find another sugar bomb if you are lucky. The second sugar bomb here is not 100%. Hence it can spawn random food such as this food dehydrator. After that, fast travel again to the tattoo parlor where you will find the super duper mart. Walk to the back door, and you will find a sugar bomb on the shelf. The last location is at Tanagra Town. From the spawn point, run east till you see a warehouse. In the warehouse, you will find a keypad. The password is 7, 4, 8, 2, 5, 0. Once inside, you will find a sugar bomb next to the chemist bench. Well, almost near the end of this video, we hope you have enjoyed and we look forward to your future viewership. Remember to like. Comment and join our Discord for more Fallout content. You can also support us on Twitch as we stream regularly.